On our previous video, we looked at how operators, they pull out observables from a wave function. Now, since all these informations are contained in a wave function, let's look at how we'll be able to understand what is the kinetic energy operator in one dimension. So, looking at the solution in here, we do know that in classical mechanics, a classical expression for kinetic energy which is expressed as T in this case is equal to T which is equal to half mv squared now looking at this in just one coordinate which is in the x dimension or oh, sorry in the x coordinate what we have here is since we know that momentum classically is expressed as mv in the x coordinate now we need to be able to solve for the velocity area so the velocity aspect over here is equal to take this over there and what you get is the momentum in the x coordinate divided by the mass of that particular object. Now, substituting our velocity in here, in equation here, which is equation one, what we have is T equals to the momentum or squared divided by two M, which is the mass. Now, this is a classical Cartesian coordinate form, which is what we have written over here. Now, where quantum momentum expression, let's just put quantum, momentum expression is actually P in the X coordinates is equal to negative I H bar multiplied by the eigenfunction, which is what we have over there. Now, let's substitute that over here into equation number two over here to transform this into a quantum expression in a single particle of a single particle in one dimension so what we have over here is the operator Now, since initially in here, this is classical, but now you're transforming this into an operator by introducing our operator momentum in here. What we get is P or momentum in the X coordinate all squared over 2M is equal to negative I H bar or squared this i2 is squared as well over 2m multiplied by the coordinate which is also all squared over there now this is also equal to negative h bar all squared over 2m multiplied by the eigenfunction all squared so it means you are applying this function twice in our for we to be able to determine the observable that we get as a result so this is the expression in one dimension for the kinetic energy of a single particle now I want to change this into a three three dimensional case over there what we have is T operator equals to negative H squared over 2M now you multiply this by the addition of the coordinates in X Y and z all squared plus all squared and this here 
is actually equal to or to m the symbol over there or squared now this symbol here is called the Laplace operator and this Laplace operator shows how much the wave function is curving so that is about it for this particular video I hope you're able to derive this formula and understand it please hit the comment down below let me hear your thoughts about this and see you all on my next video have a good day peace love you all and be smart bye